Bainbridge High School in Bainbridge, Georgia is a state-of-the-art facility built in 2008 to serve all of Decatur County in southwestern Georgia. Of the diverse population it serves, many are special education and special needs students. The school strives to include special education students in general education classrooms as much as possible. According to Principal Tommy Howell, inclusion benefits all students. By walking the halls, sitting in the cafeteria, and learning in classrooms alongside classmates in wheelchairs or with vision impairments or other challenges, the students become more familiar with individuals with special needs, removing the fear or uneasiness they may have felt before getting to know these students. They learn they're all very much the same in the ways that matter most. We try to expose our children to as much real life as possible. Uh, we want our students to be able to interact in their homes, in their community, here with other peers. You know, in, in a lot of school settings, the special education students stand out, you know, um, and they feel like the world's eyes are upon them. Or other students don't really have an idea that these are just teenagers, just like me, who have the same thoughts and feelings and deal with the same burdens and, and wants and desires. And so um, myself and the other teachers, we've tried to make sure that they're just a normal part of our routine here at the high school. Special education students are part of the normal routine of the high school and also learn the skills they need to have once they leave school. There are special education teachers who teach life skills classes, like how to navigate the library, how to cook a meal safely, or how to read traffic signs. One of those teachers is Rhonda Hall. I hope when they leave me that some of them will get jobs, and I, and I hope that, uh, you know, that they will be as independent as they can be. And I hope if whether they remain at home or if they're in a sheltered living environment, that they can be uh, do things for their self. Are you ready? On three, we're gonna get up. One, two, three. On three, one, two, three. I think it, it gives them a respect because, you know, some people may think that, you know, special students are, are different or, you know, and, you know, they're, they're like everyday kids as well. I mean, they have some problems, but, you know, it's they're, they're normal kids and they're just like everybody else. I think that, you know, especially in our school, um, Everybody's really friendly and they get to interact with them a lot. You see them in the lunchroom and stuff. People go talk to them and stuff like that. So I think it's good for them to, to be around, the, you know, students in an everyday setting in the hallways and visiting other classes. I think it's, uh, I think it's good for them. So. I think it, it builds a, a relationship between all the students here to realize that just because somebody might look different or have different physical or mental abilities does not mean that they're less of a person or that they don't have as much to contribute to our society. And so I think that that's a very important part of, of our making that access available to everyone. But it also, it changes attitudes of, of a whole community. Um, it, it helps them to realize that every person has something of value and then also helps my students to realize, you know what, my voice is important too. I have power and I have the ability to do great things in my community. I have the ability to be an exceptional citizen. And so that's something that I want my children to learn. Um, and I try to treat them like adults. I want them to, to realize, you know, you, you are, you're a teenager now, you've got some big responsibilities coming, and you're that your actions and your words make um, an impact here at the school, they make an impact in your home, and they can make an impact in our community.